What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. For today we have a dashcam and I know that dashcams aren't everyone's um, first priority, however a dashcam could be useful in many many situations. So for today we have one from Vantru and this one it's called the X1 Pro. This one is using the Novatec 9660 CPU and the Omnivision 4689 image sensor with a field of view of 170 degrees. As for pricing you can find this for about 100 bucks on Amazon and the camera can also record in 2.5k at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second if you are looking for more uh, fluidity. All the footage that you are gonna see throughout this video is recorded in 2.5k at 30 frames per second. Starting with a very quick unboxing, this comes in a decent looking box and on the front we see a picture of the camera itself and turning the box around we are gonna see some of the specifications. Inside the box we are gonna find the camera itself, we are also gonna find the windshield mount and this is one of those suction cups that attaches to your windshield and that can be detached from the camera very easily as well. There is also the user manual and the user manual is in English and in Chinese we have um, the power adapter and the power adapter has a very very long cable and aside from that you're gonna find a mini USB cable. So this camera can take SD cards up to 64 gigs and uh, there is no SD card in the box you're gonna have to buy yourself um, an SD card and I've been using the same 64 gig SD card that I use for pretty much um, all cameras that I try out and it did seem to work um, quite good. Why don't we start by checking out some daytime recordings that I've done with this camera in 2.5K. And as you've seen, daytime recordings look quite good and very crispy and you can actually see the license plates um, on cars which is very important mostly for a dash cam. Next we are gonna check out some nighttime recordings and of course um, I recorded in 2.5k at 30 frames per second. And as you've seen the nighttime recordings obviously they're not gonna be as good as the daytime recordings however you can still see what's happening and where the car is going and what's um, around the car so definitely not that bad. Alright and now we are gonna take a quick look at the camera itself. So first of all the camera it's quite small and you can actually fit it in your palm which is great because people aren't gonna see it from um, the outside and that's a good thing. 
On the front, you're gonna find the lens and the holes for the speaker, and on top we have four buttons. Moving on the back of the camera, there we have a 2.7 inch display. This display doesn't have the best resolution or the best viewing angles, but in reality, you're not gonna look at this display that much. I mean, only if you need to check something out, because in reality, you're just gonna set the camera up at the beginning and you're gonna forget about it. And lastly, at the bottom of the camera, you're gonna find the hole for the microphone. We also have the HDMI out, so just in case you wanna connect this camera to a TV or something like that. And next to that, we have a mini USB port. This camera has a couple of interesting features as well. The most important one is probably the emergency lock. And basically, if you break uh, sudden or if you get hit or anything like that, the camera will make an event folder and it will save uh, that recording in there. So basically, that recording is not going to get deleted. And that's good mostly if you get into like a car accident or anything like that and uh, you don't want uh, the camera to overwrite over that file. There is also a parking monitor and basically the camera will um, record every time it detects um, motion. However, to use this feature you actually need to hardwire the camera to your car or have a power bank um, connected to the camera. And of course not everyone is gonna use this feature but it could definitely be useful. Other than that, the camera is quite simple and we basically have the same settings that we see for most um, dash cameras. Of course, we have the loop recording where the camera um, overwrites the older files, so um, this way you don't run out of space um, on the SD card. And of course, we have the time-lapse mode where the camera takes um, a picture every few seconds and basically makes a movie from pictures. But as I said earlier, most people are gonna set up this camera the first time when they get it and then they're gonna forget about it till something happens. Now ideally nothing will happen and you'll never have to touch um, this um, dash cam, but um, you know how it is, better safe than sorry. So the video recordings, mostly the daytime um, video recordings look quite good, the nighttime recordings not the greatest. And realistically if you just want a dash cam, like any dash cam and you don't really care about the quality of the recordings, you can find one for like 30-40 bucks. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did like it, press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.